My husband has no idea how much I bought for the inside of the trailer. In my head, I was thinking when I went to the trailer for the first time, I would drop this stuff off and it would just magically be there and look great. But now he's gonna see all of the Target bags and home good bags. So uh, wish me luck. Well, it's stuff for the inside. Collapsible laundry hamper. I have the car piled of all the things to make it comfy inside. Oh my love You're such a fragile thing I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow so we actually have blankets and pillows in here. The kids are coming tonight for Christmas. My keys I have in my bra because I watched a video from The Endless Adventure where they got locked out of their Black Series like one or two times and I'm paranoid, absolutely paranoid. Setting up everything went really well. When we went and picked up our trailer from our friend's house, she had a very narrow driveway and that made me very anxious. And it was the first time I drove more than like two miles with the RV towed behind us. It really is something that makes me nervous. It's because it's new to me and I just have never towed anything in my life. I just trust my husband with that stuff. He's very comfortable with it. I have to like close my eyes and not think about it. And I'm Seeing as how we have never stayed in this Black Series ever, and I have never stayed in an RV or trailer in my life, we took the advice of a lot of veteran RVers and we are staying locally. And I'm actually so excited because Christmas at the KOA here in Virginia Beach is amazing. We're gonna be surrounded by the Christmas lights tonight and Santa Claus and the Grinch We'll be here tonight. So needless to say, my kids are very excited and I love that this is the first trip that we're doing as a family. I love that we're close to home because we don't know what we're doing. It's not like it's just me and my husband. It's me and my husband and a three, five and seven year old. So, you know, just while we test out the waters and the sleeping situation and all the things. So let's start setting her up. The first thing that I'm gonna do is set up this storage space right here. Gosh, the neighbor's coming by. Why am I so awkward? So my plan for in here is just to hang like three of these command hooks just on the side to hang coats. And tomorrow, there's a new day to Next up, we have just a good old fashioned toilet scrubber. Also, I'm gonna see if these work. So just so this doesn't catch anybody off guard like it did me, RV puts this like pink, I think it's an antifreeze mixture in the pipes. So when you first run the water, it's pink. That Lysol thing did not fit in this toilet, but I've left it in there because it smells good. Obviously, I don't know this from personal experience because I definitely don't poop, but if somebody does make a decision to poop in their life. This is a very small confined space and the windows are closed because the heat's on. Anything you can do for like the smells I think is good. I picked this up at Walmart in the scent crisp linen. I don't want it to smell like a porta potty in here. I'm just new to RV toilet situation. I'm gonna like set this by the toilet. Move on to some things I got for the kitchen. I actually did not do a lot of research on what people use for eating utensils. That probably sounds dumb, like plates, bowls, and things of that nature. Initially, I thought we would just do paper plates and have the kids bring their sippy cups. But when I was at Walmart today, everything I'm about to show you is 50 cents. So there's like it's a lot of plastic, I know, but we're gonna reuse these a ton. These bowls, 50 cent cups. I keep meaning to buy a stool too because I'm a very small person. I had grabbed these baskets. When I was putting everything into my shopping cart, it felt like I had so much stuff, but it's interesting because once I get it in here, it doesn't really look like as much stuff as I initially thought. Okay, I'm excited, I'm gonna go get the kids. Where are we going? Camp! Blah, 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 blah. Ruby, are you excited? Cause I promise for the first time. Did you like it? Yeah. Mom, I'm hungry. Mom. Good morning. We had our first night in the Black Series and we all slept good. It's just definitely an adjustment getting used to all three of us in a small space. 
I think the fact that it's cold <laughs> makes a difference. I think when it gets warmer and we can be outside a lot more, I'm hopeful. The trailer itself stayed super warm all night. We were very comfortable. I thought the bed was really comfortable. Me, Ronan, and Handsome slept in here and then the girls slept in the bed. What did you think of your bed? It was good. I mean, it was so much fun. There's so many events here and the kids love the lights and sleeping in the lights and no. seeing Santa Claus and the Grinch. The Grinch actually jumped on the trampoline with Charlie, which was so cute. Ow! Hey! But this has also been uh, pretty much a soundtrack of their life. Just, you know, a lovely time getting our kids into the great outdoors as they're all on their iPads. So I've been super determined to do the first dumping, but I think that Handsome has like one of the neighbor campers out there trying to show us and I'm embarrassed and I don't know if he'd want to be on camera, so. We almost have everything we need and I need to get the threaded piece that goes on to that quick disconnect to put it in the sewer line. Is that not one of the things that I got? Our first dumping. My camera died in the middle of me trying to record our first waste dumping. It was honestly no big deal and I think that's because I watched so many videos and looked into it so much beforehand that I knew it wouldn't be a big deal, but it's still like very intimidating before you get the RV. So our first trip as a family went really well. The things that made it hard for our first overnight are the things that are reaffirming that it's why we need to be on this adventure as a family together and have more of these experiences. After leaving the KOA, I had to find somewhere to park the RV. Since I'm a veteran and my husband is active duty, we were lucky enough to find a spot at an MWR RV park. And it's by the Naval Air Station, so there's a lot of jet noise, which is fine. We are very used to that living in Virginia Beach. There are a couple by the beaches. There's one by Fort Story and there's one by Damneck, so I can't wait to check out those ones as well. 